Hey, what's up, guys? Sinistaka here for a video. This video right here is be a nice little stack of some movie reviews I got for you guys right now. Nice, cool stack from some cool companies I want to share my thoughts and views of, of some cool Blu rays and whatnot. So let's get down to it right about now. First up here, some movies from Arrow Video Line, MVD Entertainment, will be this one up here. Starting off with this one The Hills Have Eyes Part 2. And there's really rad, deluxe setup here. All kinds of features in this thing. You know, I'm going to show you guys inside a little bit what it looks like. This one right here was made uh, right after Wes Craven made uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. He, you know, he, of course, made the first one. Great, great movie. This one right here was kind of a rush job. The money wasn't really all there. So it's kind of a mix of like, it, it's, it's pretty much a lot of stock footage of the very first movie in this one. It has some of the actors coming back from like Michael Berryman and whatnot. And but this is kind of like in Pluto. But it's just kind of like a uh, interesting, like hodgepodge of like you got these guys, like these um, motorbike people. They're on this little bus and they get to go in the desert and they take a shortcut through the desert. You know, they're about to do um, like, like going on a on a tournament, you know, like, like motocross style. But they don't know like one of the people on their team was from the cannibal clan of the first one, and they get mixed up there and they run into them again and the clan of these crazy backwood, like an inbred type types of this uh, clan to try to attack them, the motocross team. But there's a lot of flashbacks, dog flashbacks, a lot of weird things in this thing. It's kind of a, it's like a fun, hot mess. It's like, it's, it's, it's good stuff. So there's a lot of stock footage of the first one. So you're pretty much like half the movie is almost the first movie. There's a lot of different stock footage of it. But it's a nice little blend of this cool, weird, interesting sequel of The Hills Have Eyes. The original one's classic. I got an autograph by Wes Craven. I met him years back. Like a long time ago, you know, but uh, this one is pretty fun though. I'll show you guys inside of it right now. This great box that comes in this nice hardbound slipcase. Got a really cool booklet right up of it inside, different pictures and uh, write up little essays on the movie itself, making of and whatnot. And a really good documentary, this thing too, making of on this uh, Blu ray and DVD combo pack. Here's a, you got a poster of it right there of the box art, which is this. And here's the back of it up here. Load up all kinds of good extras in this thing. So they're really good documentary this thing, really long. Talks to the, you know, Harry Manfredi, the, the music for it, and the producer, and Michael Berryman, and all the other people that are involved in this movie. Very, really interesting stuff, how the movie came about, and how it was kind of a rush job and whatnot. And it's a really good extras thing, really great on Blu-ray, looks amazing. I put the original, I switched out to get the reversible cover art, and here's what it looks like on the inside. Oh, there we go, right there, you get the Blu-ray, and some like lobby cards you get in this thing too, different of the characters of the movie. And one out up here. So it's a fun little, you know, quirky movie is The Hills Have Eyes Part 2. But definitely a pretty good and enjoyable watch is this one. Also from our video, a couple of great classic horror flicks up here. They're on um, Blu-ray. You can buy separately to have the box set in case this one I'm getting individually. Of course is Clive Barker's Hellraiser. I put the original that gets slip covers of this of, of some new artwork I'll show you in a bit. Let's put the original ones on because this is classic, you know, Pinhead, the Cenobites, Ashley Lawrence, Clive Barker directing amazing effects. You know, hell on earth type stuff. It's just a great movie. You know, I have to explain it to you guys. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. This is out now. Loaded up all kinds of features. I'll show you guys a little more in depth in a second. And of course, you get the second one, the sequel, which is a great sequel, is Hellraiser 2. Check this out. Looks so good. Lots of good extras in this thing up here. I'll delve in this right now. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside. But these are just great sets. Love that cover art. Classics looks amazing on Blu ray. Looks so, so good. Perfect time of year to get this right before Halloween. The classic Hellraiser. Show you a little more in detail of it. All kinds of great features. Thing get commentary behind the scenes, documentary. It looks amazing on 2K restoration. And here's what the inside looks like. Get the Blu-ray, and of course you get the new new commission artwork, which is pretty cool. But I just can't you know deny the classic artwork of that thing. It looks so good. And I'll show you guys this one right now. Here we go. A little bit better detail. And there's like the back, like I said, almost like the first one. You get lots of great features in this thing. Commentary by Ashley Lawrence and some of the cast. Be, uh, be, you know, behind the scenes, photos, everything like that. And here's what the inside looks like out of up here. And there is the new commission artwork of that right up there. But yeah, great sets, you know, great movies. I don't know, I hope they do part three of this. That's, that'd be cool. But in case you want to get that big box set, I'm going to buy them individually. You can get those now. Right up here, also from Arrow Video, is this Giallo flick I've never seen before. It's called Who Saw Her Die? It was a really good watch, made in 1972. It stars like this sculptor. His, uh, his, goes, his daughter goes to go live with him in this back country in the Venice. Uh, Venice. But unbeknownst to them, there's a really creepy and disturbing 
child killer on the loose. He nabs her daughter, unfortunately. And uh, in doing so, he has like this mystery of him trying to find out who killed his daughter. And it's like different, you know, police, you know, it's not corruption, but different, you know, he wants to work with the police, but he doesn't really trust them. So he goes on his own to try to find who killed his daughter, who's lurking the streets, killing other people's kids. And it's really interesting. Jalo flick is this one. It looks really great on a 2K restoration, but with all kinds of features I'll show right now. Get a little bit better detail of the cover art. And back here, you got all loaded up with all kinds of great interviews of you know, some Jalo historians. You get the director on here and just some really good stuff. There's the inside contents. You have like a little um, booklet up here. Great stuff in case you want to read some more write ups about the movie itself. And then you get the disc right up here along with the reversible cover art, which looks pretty rad in itself right there. If you want the Italian version of it, it looks super cool. And last up here from Era Videos, and one I've never seen before, is called In the Aftermath, a really interesting mix. Made in the 80s, actually, also, of a uh, you know, live action movie and also some tripped out anime in this thing. And it's a post apocalyptic movie. Two survivors, Frank and Goose, are in this land, like this abandoned city, trying to look for stuff in the rubble. And in doing so, Frank, one of the soldiers, they're like the last two left, has these visions of this young girl with a gigantic egg giving it to him. And it's like he's haunting the lucid anime type dreams mixed in with like live action cinema. And it's interesting tripped out blend of like post-apocalyptic, you know, nuclear movie is this. Really good movie. I really enjoyed this one. That was really interesting, cool watching that. But it was really good, actually. Really good music. Tripped out. So the, the anime mixed in with the live action I thought was really interesting. And it's definitely a new. And I thought that was really cool. Here's the back. All kinds of great stuff. This everybody always does an amazing job with their features and that kind of thing up there. Great 2K restoration scan. And, of course, you get the reversible cover art. Which I took out the disc a little bit. That's why it's kind of loose. But you can see a little bit better i love that cover i think i'm gonna switch mine to that but it's a really good tripped out movie is this and you got also got a booklet in there of the movie itself but yeah definitely a good one if you like post-apocalyptic movies you'll definitely enjoy this one a really cool one i've never seen before never heard of it so i don't know if you guys had either but definitely a good one to check out and see all right next up here from mill creek entertainment a bunch of movies up here let's start with this one true believe in the really cool looking vhs style slipcase. i love how these are Really good, really good like drama thriller is this one starring James Woods and Robert Downey Jr. made in the 80s, of course. James Woods' character is like his high profile attorney. He's really big in the 60s during this time of like civil rights, but now he just defends like low life drug, you know, criminals in New York and that thing. And Robert Downey Jr., his young upstart, urges him to reopen an old eight year old murder case of this gang leader that was killed in prison, but it's like a cover up. So it's like a seriously movie movie about like uh, police cover up, corruption in the system. And it's really cool, like who done it. It's sort of like a cat and mouse game. Really good little thriller drama is this. I've never seen before, so it was a really good one to watch. A couple of fun ones from Andy Sadaris. Andy Sadaris line Mill Creek is putting out, putting out these great movies on Blu-ray is this one. Start off with this one right here. Do or die has uh, stars Pat Morita, you know, Mr. Miyagi from the Karate Kid movies. He's like this bad guy, this corrupt leader of this like organized gang, he has these crazy game of revenge against people that try to do him wrong. It's a weird one right here, do or die. Mr. Miyagi is a bad guy, cussing in it. Um, just fun, over the top, you know, Annie Sedaris, you know, you know, like, they're just fun movies, action, chicks with, you know, wearing really nothing on there with guns, killing people, it's just fun stuff. Uh, there's the back bit up over here. Great explosions, just, just super fun. And next up, also another Andy Sadar's classic is this one, uh, Guns, Rick Estrada, big time actor. Just, just some, you know, back in the day, just some fun, over the top stuff. And he takes on these, this girl, and like this, this band of women that have guns too, and rocket launcher guns, machine guns. This over the top, amazing movie. Um, just here's the back of it, just super fun. If you like a lot of weird, you know, B action flicks, definitely just a little favor, watch these. They look really great on Blu ray. I have them on videotape. These are just fun right here. Just super fun. Great movies to watch with your friends. Just buy yourself. Have a beer. Get some popcorn. Just have some simple fun of action over the top awesomeness in these. A DVD compilation movies. A couple of like comp compilation types flicks. So this one. Start with this one. Houses of Hell. Like haunted house type movies. You know, creepy like, you know, like indie horror flicks. Nice little compilation set. They have different various movies up here available now. Pretty fun little watches. If you just like some fun little like b-movie horror flicks this is a good one up here and then also we got this one called uh savage nature these ones are just you know animal revenge type animal like killing people type movies are these you got like four movies in each one of these little sets up here so there's some 
some fun stuff to watch. You know, because you're on this time of year, you know, it's Halloween time's approaching. So just some fun, this little, you know, easy stuff that's pop on the TV. And last but not least from Mill Creek Line is this one. Interesting zombie flick is this Don't Die in Dallas. Starring uh, William Belly is like, uh, you know, uh, transgender, you know, dressed up. And uh, it's like it's like these uh, like Bible Belt country. So you have uh, this mix of like these really like religious, you know, Bible thumper types uh, that, that have to like survive along with, you know, a transgender gay community types. And so that they have to like, you know, band together to, um, to defend against the zombies. And can they do so without killing each other, you know, for various like, you know, uh, things they both believe in? And can they, can they kill the zombies? It's just a weird kind of mix of like, you know, great little indie horror flick of this, you know, that's like, it's, you know, it's B movie stuff, but it's fun. And this one up here, uh, you know, it's just a fun little, you know, gory, some pretty good gory shots, like some good, you know, people getting their eyeballs popped open and things like that. And this interesting zombie flick is this. All right, that's it for my reviews right there. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Links down below if you want to get those flicks out from those uh, companies right there and all kinds of good stuff right there. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. If you guys enjoy my videos and you want to check out more, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification ring button. Some my videos come out here and there randomly and things like that. And I'll catch you guys later on the next video. I'll see you then. Real Bye -bye. quickly, some bonus footage. I can't let you guys go yet without having you guys check out this cheesy VHS tape I picked up the other day. Blood, Sweat, and Gears hosted by Sergeant Slaughter made in the 80s. Really bad. I gotta show you this crazy music clip right now. It'll haunt you in your dreams. I tell you that. I gotta show it to you. What is this madness you're seeing? I don't know. It's from Blood, Sweat, and Gears. Look at Sergeant Slaughter. Oh, look at that. You got the babes. Oh my goodness, look at the song. Big, bad, and blow. Oh my goodness. Whoa, brother. Bust out the PBRs right now. What in the hell? Look at this, the magic of this. My goodness, that's why it's always good to go to thrift stores, look for the video tests for good garbage like this. Oh my goodness. I thought I'd show you that. Now the video will be over. I figure I'll leave you guys with this great imagery of a chick stroking a pipe, an amazingness of Sergeant Slaughter playing some great air guitar. Good stuff. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Catch you guys later.